Hi guys, welcome back to B Speed Shop. So in today's video I'm actually going to start work on the Mini. Uh, first I need to have a bit of a clean up though, there's a bit of a mess in here. So I'm going to have a clean up and then I'm going to run you through my welding setup, the welder I'm using and then just other little tools that I'm using as well. So I'll get that done first. This is my little welder I've got. It's an Artec welder. Uh, it's quite a good quality piece. Uh, obviously it's a little bit dusty where it's been stored for a little while. It's quite a small little unit, but it's quite nice for what I need. So the reason I went for this one is because it's got the, um, for the voltage and the wire speed, it's got variable, um, variable controls, so you can like fine adjust it to what you need it for, rather than having preset ones on some of the other cheaper machines. But I mean, this machine comes with pretty much everything you need. It comes with um, all the parts here. There's the ground lead, there's the, um, I think you call it a torch. And it's got the, comes with the gas hose and the gas regulator. That I had to buy separately, mainly because I don't have a high amp output socket. I've only got the standard ones. And then obviously I just had to get my uh, welding wire. It's just a little spool that goes in there and then obviously what you do is you feed it through just here and this bit just clips off so you feed your wire through there pull that down and then obviously you just set it just so it's, you don't want it to crush the wire but you need it just to grip it so it feeds it through and then obviously i've got a i just got a small gas bottle pretty much it's good enough for what I need I don't need like a massive bottle and then I've got my welding helmet this one is an auto darkening one so you can see through the lens and then when the when you strike the arc it automatically goes black so the other tools I'm going to be using I've just got a simple uh, corded angle grinder with a load of different attachments at the moment I've got a wire brush on it but I've got like I've got, uh, cutting wheels I've got grinding wheels in there sanding discs all sorts of little bits for that uh, I've also got the little power belt sander that I can use if I need to and then obviously I just got a corded drill and then in my tray underneath here I've just got my uh, different welding clamps and my welding gloves as well. So my box tube I ordered for the bracing arrived this week. I was quite surprised, quite quick delivery. I think it was only like a couple of days from when I ordered it to when it was delivered. So these, I got two of the longer ones. I'm going to use one of them across that way, but it's not quite long enough to go diagonally. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably still going to try and do um, an X in the door from like the top of the door across but what I'm going to try and do as well is uh, the one which goes across that way I'm going to try and have two coming down onto this um, is, it a, is it a frame rail or something because this is actually staying in the car I'm not cutting this out I'm literally just cutting this front section of the floor pan out because that's the rusty bit uh, there are a few little repairs over on the driver's side that I need to do to this. So there's just like on the driver's side, there's just a little starting to rust through there, there's a little hole I need to patch up. So one other thing I wanted to do today as well was to uh, test fit the boot lid. Because from what I remember, there was a little gap up on this top corner. I did try and fix it by, I tried cutting along there and tapping that out. So. I, I am just going to double check just to make sure it all lines up quite nice. So I'll quickly do that and then I'm going to finish. There's a load of other loose bits inside the mini that I need to take out as well. So I need to take all them out and then I can start measuring up my tube in. And I think there's gas in the bottle. If there's gas in the bottle, I'll start welding the bracing in. If not, I'll have to. Uh, I don't think they're open at the weekend, so I'll have to go next week and. Get another bottle. Mm. 
Okay, so I don't know how well you can see it, but when you look at it from on top, that is almost flush there, but it's sticking up just a little bit there. It's not too much. I'm hoping. Um, so I might just have to I'm have a little investigate to see what I can do to uh, make that fit a little bit better. Like the bottom fits pretty well. That's pretty flush there. And then over that side is pretty flush. Actually, it's a little bit in. So what I might have to do is see if I can hammer this out a little bit along this section, just so it brings this out a little bit, and then hopefully it will fit a bit better. Because I'm guessing it's probably binding on something just there on the inside. So if I can, what I might have to do is, um, and then there is a technique where you can heat up a section so that it, so it should expand a little bit and then what I might have to do is invest in a proper metal hammer and a little dolly just so I can um, stretch that section out a little bit along there just so it brings it out so it brings that out so it's better flush because it's tucked in a little bit there and then hopefully that will make the boot fit a bit better but it's not it's not as bad as I remember I thought there was a bigger gap there but it's not too bad I should be able to fix that I should be able to fix that and then yeah so I'll leave that as it is for now and I'll just continue to get the rest of the inside cleared out because we still got the back seat still got the back seat in to take out and then there's like a few other loose bits which I want to pretty much get it all stripped out as much as I can. So this is the passenger side floor panel. So you can see it comes uh, when it's actually in. It comes up underneath this piece. So what I'll probably try and do is um, probably not on this edge but on the actual edge under here I'll try and add in another piece so like the original floor sort of overlaps and then I can spot weld it and seam weld it as well underneath just so it's extra welded in and secure but you can see like the whole front uh, floor pan needs to be cut out so and obviously you've got the inner sill on this side as well which will be getting so obviously this piece here that will be cut out with the floor and then I'll be able to uh, cut along this edge along there and replace the floor pan but what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some proper um, spot weld drill bits so I can drill out all the spot welds and do it properly rather than cutting that and then there's like another bit there so I'm going to drill all the spot welds and do it properly so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to get my bracing in. This one isn't going to go here, it's going to come down to about here somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my angle grinder, clean off some of the paint so I've got a clean surface to weld to. So I've got my bar uh, fitted in now. If you look, there's a little bit, I don't know how well the light is, there's a little bit of a gap at the bottom, but I'm not too fussed about that because I can, uh, what I'll do is I'll tack weld along the top and then um, I'll do the front and the back. I can just weld down them. So I'm going to solidly weld these in just on two sides just so it's more structurally secure. So what I'll do is I've got my welder set up so I'm just gonna there's a little bit of gas left so I'm just gonna use that to tack this bar in for now but I'm gonna put my phone indoors away from the welder so it doesn't mess up my phone because if you have your phone next to your welder and you start welding obviously the electrical current is gonna mess it up so I've got my bar tacked in and I've welded it in now as well it took me a few goes just to get the um, the voltage and the wire speed just right so I'll quickly show you what I've done so I've welded in this bar, I think these two, this weld here and just down here, probably the best ones I've done today. As you can, I don't know if you'll be able to see it from this way, but it seems to have penetrated metal quite nicely and it's gone in 
it's not like overly bulbous it's pretty even across there I, I won't mention the other side but uh, yeah took me a few goes to get it just right as you can see the wire it sort of uh, blobbed on top a bit there so it took me a couple goes to get that right and then I got my uh, voltage and wire speed just right so I think I've got it set quite nicely now just on that bit and that bit there so that one's in but I need to um, I need to get some more gas now before I can weld in my the rest of my uh, things so I'll have to see if I can pick up another bottle next week because unfortunately the place that's locally to me that does all the welding supplies they're not open at the weekend so hopefully I'll be able to um, pick one up after work so even though I've only got that one bar welded in at the moment I'm still pretty happy with the progress I've made today I've sort of cleaned up finished taking all the stuff out of the mini and got that bar welded in as well so I think it's a good step forward um, obviously now I just need to get some more uh, welding gas and then I can weld in the rest of my um, uh, support tube in so I can cut the floor out and fix that um, yeah um, so probably just going to leave it there for today so thanks for watching this video